Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. We are now in lesson 4, conversion function and conditional expression, part 4. At the end of this lesson, students should be able to understand the conditional expression. Being able to make decisions is essential in data modeling. Modelers have to decide which business functions need to be modeled and which do not. The data modeling process requires that designers analyze information to identify entities, resolve relationships, and select attributes. A typical decision could be, if a business needs to track data over time, then time may need to be an entity, or else time should be an attribute. Case and decode are examples of one of these differences. The case expression basically does the work of an if-then-else statement. Data type of the case, when and else expressions must be the same. The syntax for a case expression is as follows. We start with case, then we put expression. When comparison expression 1, then return expression 1. When comparison expression 2, then return expression 2 and so forth. Up until we have the else. Then we should end the case. Let's take a look at the implementation. Let's say we have this problem. The query checks the department ID. If the department ID equals to 90, then return management. If it's 80, return sales. If it's 60, return IT. Else, we return other department. We can solve this problem by using the case conversion function. First one, we select last name, comma, case. The case now is about department ID. Then we put department ID. When 90, then management. When 80, then sales. When 60, then IT. Else, other department. Then we end the case. I put a parenthesis over here because it is easier for us to do the uh, column alias. I rename this one as department from employees so let's execute this query if we execute this query then we have this user king is management because king's from department 90 hano is it take a look greenberg other department okay favorite other department because it falls under else so this is how we solve the problem by using case conversion function case what is the case about department id when, then, when, then, when, then, else, and. So this is the format for case conversion function. Let's take a look at another example. The query checks the salary. If it less than 3001, written B40. If it less than 6276, written M40. Else, we return T20. Based on the previous example, the case of department ID, this is how we can do it, isn't it? Case, the case is about salary. When salary less than, take a look, we use op, not equal operator. Now we use less than. So when salary less than 3001, then B40. Salary less than 6276, then M40, else T20. If we execute this query, we cannot get the result. Okay, we have an error message here. Why? Because if you take a look, just now we use the equal operator. For example, department ID equals to 90. Department ID equals to 80. Department ID equals to 60. Then we get the result. But now, if we take a look based on, based on the equation, what we will do? Salary equals to salary less than 3001. The equation itself is already wrong. We cannot have two different comparison operator in one equation. Then, for this kind of case, since we don't use the equal operator, we don't need to specify the case here. Okay, we don't need to specify the case here. We straight away do when. After the case, we straight away put when. Case, when salary less than 3001, B40. When salary less than 6,276, then M40, else T20. Then if we do this one, the, qu the query, the case check for salary less than 3,001 straight away. So this is the correct equation. So if we execute this one, we can get the answer. 
Okay, you can get the answer already. So that's why if if you use the equal operator, you can have the specific case. But if if you don't use the equal operator, we don't need to specify the case here. Decode function evaluates an expression in a similar way of the if then else logic. Decode compares an expression to each of the search values. Decode is an oracle proprietary statement. The syntax for decode is we have decode, column or expression, search one, result one, comma, search two, comma, result two, and so forth. Then we have the default value, the else. Let's take a look at the implementation. Let's take a look at decode expression. In decode expression, we have last keyword, we just have decode, then we have the parenthesis. That's all. However, the first argument has to be the case. The second is when, then, then. When, then, when, then, other department. Everything is just separated by comma. Case, comma, when, comma, then. Comma, when, comma, then. Comma, when, comma, then, comma, then, else. So, it is quite simple. However, you need to indent it so that it will become easier for you to read the decode function. So, we use the same example like the case. So, if you take a look, this is the case. Case is in the first argument. Then, when. This one, then. When, then, and so forth. So, if you execute, we still have the, the same answer. However, here, if you don't have the specific case here, for example, the salary just now, so you cannot leave it blank. If you leave it blank, then it will it will give you error. So by right, for the case that has equal operator, then we can use with decode. Other than that, we cannot use the decode function. The case expression is better. Let's take a look at another decode example. Select last name, salary. We decode. We truncate salary, divide by 2000 to zero decimal place. If it's zero, return 0 0.00. When one, return 0 0.09. When two, return 0 0.20 and so forth. Else, return 0 0.45 as the tax rate from employees where department ID equals to 80. If we execute this one, we will take a look. Based on the result, Russell's tax rate is 0.45. How? Let's take a look. We have salary of Russell is 14,000. We divide by 2,000. What's the result? 7. So when 7, do we have when 7 here? No. 7 falls under L. So that's why the tax rate here is 0.45. Now let's take a look at Cumbro. So the salary is 11,000. 11,000, we divide by 2,000, we will get 5.5. .5. But we trunk the, we truncate the result. Truncate 5.5 .5 to zero decimal place. Then what is the result that we get? Only five. Then when five, what is the result? Zero point. For two. So that's why uh, Cambrook result is 0 0.42 for the tax rate. I hope you get how to use the decode and how to use the case function. If you have the specific case, then we can use decode. If you don't have a specific case, just like when we don't have the equal operator, such as when salary less than 5,000 and so forth, then we need to use case function only. But on certain part, I would always prefer the case function because it looks much easier because we have a lot of keywords that we can put. This one, everything is just separated by comma. If it's if you put under on the same line also, there's no problem. However, you need to know uh, which part is when, which, which part is then. I guess that's all for this lesson. See you again in the next chapter. Thank you.